Now, a year ago, I'm sure you remember that we went to the asylum down right opposite the Paloma Hotel in Accra. We spoke about a, break, a bridge that was breaking apart. And uh, we did a story about it. The assembly member for the area told us that, well, in a week, this will be done with Honorable Ibo. Uh, he told us that this will be done with. Well, it's more than a year. It's been more than a year. And that bridge is hanging out pretty much the same. It is it's breaking apart piece by piece. And um, the, the dangerous part is where we have a tree sitting on an 11,000 kV um, uh, electric, electric wire, which could mean that once the wind blows, the flood comes, mm. the tree falls <coughs> off, the wire comes up, anybody who goes in there could be electrocuted and, mm. and killed. Also, you would know that this bridge, by the look of it, is more than 50 years by the way this bridge if it had to rain in the evening or in the afternoon the school children are crossing mm -hmm. it could break cave in and that's it and that's it that is, this is in the, the middle of a crab I, what is it way. is it that we do not care or uh, has has always been the uh the cliche we don't have the resources to fix these uh, uh problems uh, you know until something happens mm. to someone mm. um until we take um very bad decisions. Mm. For example, you remember the, the Adenta uh, highway, the what highway happened there? Right. You remember <coughs> after they burned some tires, after they went haywire, that's Before when, we saw some yes, action. and then we saw some action, and then the bridge are still being, the, uh, being done in, in that constituency. Mm. So unless we see that some people get hurt. Before you know, I, Because this was reported a year ago. A, a year ago. Yeah. And, year and it's ago. still the same. Yes. The documentary is still there. I mean, they, and what, what hurts me is that the assembly member for the North Ridge electoral area, he came to us, he spoke to us and said that uh, he will ensure that this is done. The funny <laughs> thing is that he is the head of the AMA's NADMO committee. <laughs> So, but, in but terms of safety and security, he's in charge. He's in charge. But, but Johnny, he could only go to the assembly. Mm. Uh, actually, he go to the assembly and say that, look, this is the bridge in my area. It's in this uh, condition. We need to fix it. So he tables. You, the, you know the, the funny idea, thing. You know the funny thing. At the time we did the, I did the documentary mm. on the breaking bridges. Portions of the bridge had been marked with black, for, for black ink that says that this thing must go down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Portions that be marked with black and red. Okay, so you danger, know, don't pass Exactly, here, it's been of. marked. Mm. Now, for one whole year, nothing has happened. And the video you saw, by the way, was mm. shot by one of our interns here mm. at TV3, Richard Mensah. He, he went out there yesterday to, to uh, make uh, sure so that we'll now, to this. this is around uh, Nima. Is it no, Nima? it's no, not. This is, uh, see, Paloma uh, Hotel. Braca. Paloma Hotel. Opposite. Okay, on the ring road. On the ring road. Yeah. Right opposite Paloma so Hotel. So, I'm the AME. Exactly. Now, it's difficult trying to uh, demarcate a crowd. Well, I mean, the, but, the, but now but the assemblies are, t are many. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Maybe, so maybe, call, under maybe call it Clote. It, should be, it could be call it yeah. Clote. I mean, it used Clote. to be under AMA, but now but maybe it, it's it, call it, it Clote, Clote be now. Call it because Clote. Call it Clote yes. is now handling Osu, Adabraka, yes, Osu, it could be and call it Clote, and not under AMA. AMA. Exactly. Okay. So, Honorable Ajay, uh, good morning to you, mm. uh, Ahmed Ajay. Good morning to you. you. This is in your in your locality. Mm. You generate a lot of funds from the markets. You collect a lot of tolls, IGF, and the safety and security of your people mm -hmm. is at stake mm -hmm. because a lot of school children or many school children. You have traders. You have workers who go through and fro. And because there's a bus bay right by it, mm. people alight from their buses. And, and they, they use, use that, bridge. That, bridge. that bridge to connect to asylum down. Yeah. And people close from work and they connect through it. The school Back children, yeah. those who go for prayer meetings, mm. whatever. Imagine that you have gone for a prayer meeting and you have told God to keep you safe and secure from all alarm. Mm. Only for you to and get you on the bridge, bridge and, and then, then some, something and then happens. What at, all, what at all is wrong with, with us in, in terms of trying to maintain our, our properties? What is wrong? Is it is it I I don't know but sometimes you, you ask questions and you don't get answers mm -hmm. is it that we do not care like I said earlier on or we, we think that well let's wait till something drastic happens and then we can take a decision this why can't we maintain the very things that we have spent money 
to, to, to There's to, the issue to of not caring as well, mm. because even in the video, you can see rubbish uh, in the gutter mm. uh, there. There's been videos oh, Aisha, where... The, the rubbish you saw mm. <laughs> is reduced. Oh, right. Okay. Some, if some, I show some you the old, being old documentary... I saw it. Uh, it's been running you, on TV. You, yes. you, you, you will have a broken heart. And you know the flamingos were singing along the chorus mm -hmm. uh, in the gutter. <laughs> it's that bad. It's, it's, that bad. it's that bad. So then the assemblyman explained to me that the folks around Nima and Mamobi, mm -hmm. they actually pump their rubbish into it. Through, into the gutter. Mm -hmm. So it comes downstream. It's, 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 it's okay. bad. So let's tie that into what the president said whilst in Canada. Mm -hmm. Now the president clearly, from what I heard, was frustrated. Mm -hmm. He said that look, we need to change our attitudes and that he could fix all the infrastructure yes. problems we have. But if we do not change our attitude, we do not stop dumping, we, st we do not stop littering, then we're we'll going to have We'll still be where we problem. are. But Absolutely. you see, I, I have a problem with that kind of stance mm. because you won't find a, a society where everyone will do the right thing. Right. Okay. So the attitudes um, are bad. But we still need to get people to act right. Mm. Yeah. And so then, where are our laws? Mm -hmm. So but for me, when the president the said that um, we need to change our attitudes mm. because he can fix the challenge, and so if we don't change attitudes, it will be the same. Nothing will I, happen. I disagree. Because even in developed countries where we see the environment cleaner compared to what we have here, yeah. there are bad people there. Yeah. But the fact is that if I drop a letter in anywhere in the United States or any other developed clean countries, you, 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 you got to pay yes. for it. Now, is that the same in our case? Yeah, no. So it is raining, and someone gets out there mm -hmm. and dump refuse, refuse in the in drain. There. Who has or who gets to punish that person? I feel no like one. that's what we need. If people no are one. being punished for then the things stop. that they do, then they will stop. Then they will stop. Yes. You see, so it, it is not a matter of attitudes. Fine, we need to deal with that. Mm. But we got to keep punishing people. I, I so said, I said that it, it took me to tell the mayor of Accra, the AMA chief executive, mm. that look, your bylaws are obsolete. I said this in 2017 mm -hmm. to him. Now they have amended. I said your bylaws are obsolete. Because if you arrest Aisha for dumping refuse at the wrong place, and all she has to pay is 80 cities. <laughs> she will pay it and go and do it again <laughs> with impunity. She might even decide to pay. So that, that I told him is. that, look, <laughs> your, your laws are obsolete. Mm. Change it. Let it reflect the current time. Right. So we can actually get it. And, and I think that every time you talk about it, they tell you, oh, we want to educate the people, educate, to sensitize no, them. No. You have educated the people For enough. Long. <laughs> can, can you Punish them. Can jail you, some people. Can you imagine uh, Aisha sitting here, uh, perhaps she's driving and then she, she drops a litter and she's uh, picked up by uh, the police and then the court says that Aisha for what you have done mm. you, you're going to sweep the Nkrumah circle every day for the next uh, 30 days. I saw a man do that in Nigeria yes. and he was made to pick up every letter he sees. Every day he street. does it. Yes. yes. The thing is that and if you, if you yeah. go to Burma it's camp and you misbehave they'll let you do that but mm. the point is that our laws are only for custodial sentences and fines. Who has to change it? So we, we need to change yeah. it for Parliament. We need to no, change, it. change it. Ge measures. General I.B. Kwate, good morning to you, sir. <laughs> uh, to Major General uh, Mrs. I.B. Kwate, good morning to Yesterday you. we were told he missed the party. You, you know uh, that in the barracks, uh, <laughs> if, you are, if you are a general, mm. for example, a brigadier general, mm. your wife is higher in rank than you. Oh, is it really? Yeah, because when you come with your wife controls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you go to, I mean, for I example, see. so my, my, my dad, <laughs> my mom had a higher rank than my dad. It's yeah. everywhere. Even okay. the CDS's okay, wife right. has mm -hmm. a higher rank. I should Why understand. It will control you. <laughs> I'm looking for a, 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 a soup breakfast this morning. Soup? I need soup. Why, why, soup? why, why do you need soup uh, this morning? I, I need a lot of liquid in no my soup. No more soup. <laughs> You are still hungover yeah. from you. No, yeah, no, no. I, I, I have he a did hangover, mention yeah. he was. Yeah, we want to. Hangover. Anyway, <laughs> happy birthday to Dorcas <laughs> Nanaya Free Year Samoa mm. at uh, TV3 uh, with the MCR. Good morning to you and happy birthday. Let's talk about... How old uh, is Dorcas? Uh, I don't know. Maybe okay. 14. Um, she's 14. <laughs> Could be engaged in child labor if she's Okay. Too, so, so at the Matai Konyeri Afienya area, there's a high tension uh, cable, uh, high tension there uh, near the Roman Catholic Church in Afienya. That's what mm. you see on your shot. And uh, we're told that it's been reported to the EPA near the MF police station for people to stop dumping refuse and sewage 
uh, at the Mbata Eco High Tension uh, area. Now, they complained, they stopped them, but the people are back dumping refuse and they say it's a mm. no man's land. So, because it's a no man's land, they are not using sense they will do what they to please. misbehave. So, they're just dumping. Why mm -hmm. do we do that? And I've seen videos of people dumping refuse into the rain. Yes, while it's raining. While, and, and I say, look, find them and punish them. Mm. Deal with them. Yeah. Jail them. Three months, two no, months. Johnny, Johnny, take out the... the I, I, don't, I don't believe in jailing people for this. Get the people to work in the community. Well, mm -hmm. but you see, your laws yeah, do actual work. If you put it, if you put it in your, yeah. if you put change it in your laws. bylaw, or if you put it in change your, the laws. Uh, you know, but but this is happening at Mataiko near Athena. Yeah. That's a high tension there, which means that it's a dangerous area, and people are just dumping refuse there. It's been reported to the EPA. The EPA has come in, and all they say is that it's a no man's land, so it's become a sanitary site for them. And they are dumping, no control, nobody collects. Uh, Johnny, that's that this yeah. certainly is, is appalling. It isn't is, it? it is, it is. Uh, like you're saying, there's been videos of places where there's actual flooding and people are really dumping refuse in there. Mm. They just lift it up from their homes and throw it in there. It's been like some sort of tradition in some mm. areas. Once it starts raining, let's pull out, you know, our dust and, and let's throw it in there. Every, every empty space in a crowd, mm -hmm. if it's uh, like Johnny would say, no man's land, uh, you find people uh, dumping all kinds of yes. things there. And uh, I mean, we'll not, we'll not talk about it until we get to a point where it, um, it gets uh, somebody in danger mm -hmm. and then we, we come back to talk about it but you see I have always said that it, it, it has to be the authorities and of course it, it, uh, attitudes are we need to talk about it but the authorities will have to work and work and work and work to deal with it no one no one can say that every person in this country will do the right, do the right thing. thing other than that then why do we have jails mm. why yeah. do we have prisons yeah. why do we have them we, then we just say that arm robbers, change your attitude, mm. stop robbing, mm. so that we, you don't need to go to jail. Thieves, change. But we need to get the people to to know that doing this is a crime. It's it is. Doing yeah. this it is, is. is, 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 is in, some countries, <coughs> in some countries, <coughs> you'll be dealt with in a particular yes, way. I told you about a about a month ago how I went to very clean washrooms. Mm. Mm -hmm. I went to Aliza Hotel. Yeah. I went to Accra City Hotel. I went to the AMA's new complex. And... Uh, I went to the Moving Pick Ambassador Hotel. Right. I stood in there and I was observing. People who came in were very well dressed. Mm -hmm. You know, they looked very responsible. Even though they had running water, soap, and sanitizers and tissue, mm. they come and do their business and they walk out there without washing, washing their hands, their without hands. cleaning their hands. And you can imagine how many people they will be eager to shake hands with. And how many people will shake hands with these people and instead of washing off the dirt, we'll try and eat the gems and wash off the oil. And it's happening around us. Everywhere. It's, it it's, is. Like, it's it an is. attitudinal problem. So I have said that start with the children in school now. Mm -hmm. Have this as a part of our curriculum. Put it on the timetable. Let the teachers teach the children. Let them explain to them that, look, you don't dump refuse in the gutter it's when wrong. it's raining. You don't litter around. You keep your surroundings clean. You, you do all those things. You wash your hands with running soap mm -hmm. and water. Let's educate them. Let's save the next generation. Let plant a tree. You know, you need to let them know. My dad used to make us sweep our frontage and sweep the pavement yes, and sweep uh, part of the street. They, they also need to be punished. They need to know how bad it is well, when they do Well, that. I mean, they will be punished, mm -hmm. but then the children... There's something called Chinese aphorism. Mm. The children must be made to know mm. that this is the way you need to go. We didn't have the benefit of that. Like right. Our parents trying to <coughs> put us in. A, we didn't mm. learn that from school. We didn't learn that from school. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Great. Thursday morning has just started and uh, so we'll continue.